Well, good morning. It's great to be here at uh, Hacienda uh, Mexican Grill, uh, even though it's uh, still a little early for lunch. Hacienda Grill is one of thousands of small businesses in Utah showing resilience and leading our state's economy through a, a, a very difficult time. Uh, this morning, the Department of Workforce Services uh, released its April jobs report, uh, which shows that during uh, the month of April, Utah's employment contracted 7.1% uh, over the last year. 110,900 fewer people are employed in the state of Utah uh, compared to one year ago. And Utah's unemployment rate has now risen to 9.7%. Uh, to put that in perspective, there are now more than 155,000 people uh, un uh, unemployed in Utah. This is the highest number of people ever unemployed in our state's history. The leisure and hospitality sector uh, has seen a contraction of 43.6% since a year ago. That sector, leisure and hospitality, have lost 66,000 700 jobs in the last year. So it really is, as bad as the job market is right now, and it really is truly bad, Utah has performed very well relative to other states in the country. According to uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics data released this morning, Utah's contraction is the smallest in the country. Uh, this means that Utah's job market is still the best in the country, even though it's contracting. And our unemployment rate is among the lowest in the country, at the six low, at, at number six uh, lowest unemployment rate in the country. Now there's a few reasons why Utah's economy is faring uh, better than other states. Uh, it's due to the work of what I'm gonna call economic heroes. Uh, one of those heroes is the Department of Workforce Services, led by John Pierpont. In approximately eight weeks, the staff at the Department of Workforce Services have processed nearly as many unemployment claims as in the, in the past three years combined. Uh, and it is because of their hard work uh, that they've been able to help so many people in need and so many people displaced by unemployment. The second group of economic heroes that I wanna talk about is financial institutions. Uh, Utah's banks and credit unions have, some, have been some of the most effective in the nation. Uh, in fact, the Small Business Administration announced that as of May 8th, the state of Utah ranked number one in the nation for uh, Paycheck Protection Program lending. Utah businesses have received nearly $5.3 billion in PPP loans and more than $246 million in economic injury disaster loans. This funding is not only uh, critical to preserve small businesses, but it also has what we call a multiplier effect, where that money can go further to help more people as those dollars are spent in the economy. Uh, PPP lending in Utah has provided economic relief to about 63% of all the state's small businesses, according to the American Bankers Association. And uh, my, our estimate is that because of lending from the PPP program, 350,000 Utahns have been able to keep their jobs uh, and have not gone on to unemployment. The third kind of economic heroes I wanna talk about uh, are the actual business owners, the individuals who are keeping our economy going. They're working every day to keep the lights on, to keep people employed, and keep food on our tables. This PPP plan, honestly, uh, it, saved, it saved us, and I'm sure it saved a lot of other businesses out there. Once we saw this money in the bank account, it was just like a, a big boulder lifted off your shoulder. I wanna say thank you to, to our employees because if it wasn't for them, it'd be tough for us to even stay in business. I appreciate the willingness of our customers and our guests to still keep coming and supporting us. And I mean, we're going to be here for a long time. 